Hello, it is Friday. It's a special Friday because we are at Pink in the City. We're at the Embassy Plaza in Laval, and I have the honor of being tonight's speaker. Tonight's cause is for Cedars Breast Cancer Clinic, and all the donations that are collected tonight is going straight to buying a 3D mammogram machine. So you know how I don't do mammograms anymore because my breasts are too dense? Well, apparently this 3D mammogram machine can detect cancer way faster than your regular mammogram machine. So everyone's here to support a really good cause, and people look good tonight. Check it out. Augustine and before I start I just want to say a huge thank you to Phil and the entire family for inviting me to speak tonight I'm truly honored like what a night like I feel like I'm at a wedding right now this is amazing so seriously congratulations to everyone on the organizing committee and to all of you for being here tonight now sadly I'm pretty sure that what gathers us together tonight is how we've all been touched by breast cancer somehow, some way. For some, it's your mother, your wife, your sister, your grandmother, your friend, your coworker, your aunt. Others may have even fought the battle themselves. In my case, not in a million years did I ever think it would happen to me. In 2013, my life changed completely. I was diagnosed with breast cancer at only 24 years old. And I see the question marks in your faces. No, I do not have the BRCA gene. No, I do not have a history of cancer in my family. And ironically enough, I was probably at the strongest, most fit point in my life. Looking back, it all feels like a dream. You know how your dreams jump from one scene to another without any felt transition in between? Or how all the events that are happening, you have no control over. That's what it felt like as I was immediately thrown into 16 rounds of chemotherapy. Right after, a full mastectomy. Right after that, 29 rounds of radiation. And then it was like all of a sudden, a year passed, and there I was at 25 years old, and I looked in the mirror, and I no longer saw myself. While this could have been the perfect opportunity to hide from the world, I did the opposite. I recorded my entire experience through breast cancer in video and in writing, and published it onto my blog, Nally.ca. Everything that I just mentioned and more is all online for you all to read, watch, and share. What started off as my online diary, my therapy, turned into this resourceful and relatable website filled with guidance and hope for thousands of other young women battling breast cancer all around the world. Today, I am 27 years old, and I am now cancer-free. Thank, Thank you. And I made it my mission to continue to spread awareness and empowerment through blogging and public speaking. And I just recently published my first e-guide titled Chemo Secrets, Tips, Tricks, and Real Life Experiences from a Young Breast Cancer Survivor. Available on Amazon and on Nally.ca. Okay. In 2013, my life changed completely. But not when I lost my hair, or my eyelashes and eyebrows, my breasts, my strong, fit body, but more so when I received my very first email from another 20-something 
year old young woman with breast cancer who has stumbled upon my blog upon its release. And she simply said, Nally, thank you. Thank you for inspiring me to never give up. That's when my life changed completely. Because that's when I realized that we all have the power to make a difference in our own special way. You see, I'm not a doctor or a surgeon or a researcher or a scientist or a nurse. And unlike many of you here who may work in the world of oncology and medicine, like Phil who's in general surgery, seriously, I take my hat off to you. All I could do was share my story, but that was enough to move mountains. Tonight, I want to remind you of the difference that you can make. And by simply being here tonight, supporting Think in the City, you are sending that same message of hope. The same way I didn't know that my blog could change someone's life, is the same way that this mammogram software that will be purchased thanks to your donations might detect that one woman's cancer early enough to treat it, and in turn, without you even knowing, you would have saved her life. So on behalf of all women like me, who've survived, who are still fighting, and especially to all those that we lost to this disease, thank you so much for making a difference.